Good morning. This is a banked daily devotional. This is daily devotionals with Red Moon Eagle and I am Red Moon Eagle. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what year it is. And I have no idea what cycle of the wheel we are in. <laughs> but this is a banked video and I make these just in case. You know, I might be having a bad day and I'd rather you have a nice positive uh, daily devotional to go with or my husband's on vacation and we don't have time in the morning to do daily devotionals live without a lot of clutter and stuff going on in the background. So I will read the tides and you can see what tide you're in. Tide of preparation is the fall equinox to the winter solstice. Tide of destruction is the winter solstice to the spring equinox. Tide of renewal is the spring equinox to the summer solstice. And tide of completion is the summer solstice to the fall equinox. So whatever tide we are in, I hope you're enjoying it. And we'll dive into what cards I drew today. So I drew Dragonfly from the Animal Spirit Guidebook. This is the card. Master of Light, Illusion in the Mind. The dragonfly is an ancient and ethereal creature that awakens a sense of wonder in all. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind, as it is always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Are they restless or still, dreamlike or crystal clear? The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. When in balance, sees clearly, joyful and magical. When out of balance, can't concentrate, busy mind. To bring into balance, focus on the breath. Breath, wonderful. And then I drew from the Egyptian God's Oracle cards. And I drew Heka alchemical force. Heka is the god of magic and also of healing medicine. The universe is created thanks to magic and life also depends on it. He is a god who has no origins. His name means first work. Heka reveals himself in the feelings of human beings and expresses himself in their language. He offers determination in order to dominate and the capacity to create. The alchemist purifies base and raw materials and turns them to gold. Giving you vitality, energy, magnetism, and strength at all levels, he allows you to successfully develop your accomplishments. He has appeared to you to give you the ability to control any direction or dominate all the elements. Hmm. Wonderful. And then from the mystical shaman oracle, I have drawn fire. Fire consumes anything it touches. The flames remind us of the impermanent nature of reality and how situations can quickly transform into beauty or chaos. Fire is passion and its dancing flames invite us to reach the, to the sky. Warmth and light are heavenly. Too much heat can scorch us. To fully step into the energy of fire is to be utterly transformed like the phoenix rising from the ashes. The invitation is to warm your hands and your heart by your inner fire. Let it burn away your hardships. Let it consume your pain and sorrow. Has life become too rigid or cold or superficial? Light a candle or make a bonfire and toss it into the flames, everything that has become stiff and painful. Give it all to the fire for rapid transformation. Set your life on fire. The medicine of this card, are you feeling too fiery? Have you been reactive and short-tempered towards others? This card has come to tell you that all fiery emotions directed at others can backfire at you. It is not a good idea to play with fire when you're out of balance or angry. Now is not the time to act or react. It is time to tame and befriend your inner fire so it does not scorch you. I love these cards. So fire, alchemical, work, Heka, the god that has no origin, the first work, determination, and capacity to create. I like that. And then dragonfly. 
Light illusion of the mind. Connecting into breath. Situation might be different than it appears at first glance. Symbol of the mind. So this is what I get from all these. So we've got fire, alchemical change, breath, situational awareness. So some of the things that come to me with this this morning, I think are our capacity to get really swirly, <laughs> honestly. So fire is powerful, right? It's transformational. And fire is your passion, your connection to things, making things happen. And the alchemical card says, hey, I'm giving you a boost to change your situation. And Dragonfly says, hey, are you sure? Let's pay attention, let's breathe into this. I have a couple friends, I love them all. They're so dear to me and I'm having a weird deja vu moment. Oh, um, that they get really swirly in their own energy when they're afraid of something and when they're anxious and afraid of things. I do it too. I think we've all done it, but I'm, I'm thinking of a p couple particular friends and a couple clients that I've had that they all have this similar thing where when they get afraid, they swirl around in the sphere and they have the ability to naturally, just by their natural number in their body of nine, uh, in the body of nine, uh, wow, I, my word is gone. Let me breathe. <laughs> um, so in the body of nine context, they are all sixes. So it's right here, it's the chest. And one of the things that they have the ability to do is not only magnify the situation uh, or, or manifest, you know, they can manifest, not magnify, manifest uh, what it is that they want, but they can magnify. So if you throw a lot of anger and resentment and frustration at them, they can magnify that and throw it right back at you. But same thing with grace and compassion and peace. But interestingly, the reason I bring a natural number six up is that all of these have similar things. They all have this quality of when they become afraid of something, afraid of the future, afraid of what they have no control over, afraid of what somebody else is going to think, afraid of the possibilities of an outcome. Um, fear gets triggered. And a couple of these in people that I know, they are also energy sensitives. And energy sensitives are all about electromagnetic energy. It's all about the energy around us. And because sixes have this capacity to swirl this energy, they're very aware of the energy in a space. If you add any kind of fire to that, it can really create this ability to alchemically change into this swirling perception of what's actually going on because they're all going back to the fear underneath that fire. And one of the things I've noticed that, I mean, I talk about this all the time with all my clients, which is take a breath. Start with taking a breath. Really go into your body. Take a breath. Really take enough breaths in and out that all you're focusing on is how you're breathing. Natural number six have a really hard time remembering to breathe. Uh, my teacher has said several times that there's a breathy quality to sixes and which is 100% true because they don't breathe. <laughs> they will almost talk without actually having air to talk. It's amazing. I've watched them all do it. It's fascinating. And I have found that when I am in their presence and they're not breathing, I will want to say, and I have now allowed myself to say, can you take a breath with me, please? Because if you bring breath into that, it can stop the swirling. Um, fire cannot thrive without oxygen, but fire will smolder 
and it will smolder if they're if if you can throw earth on top of fire and not having completely smothered it and it can smolder for long periods of time until there's a huge influx of rapid air and it can flare up again there's a lot of science in fire right and when you're a smolderer you don't really go anywhere um fire is transformational it can be an amazing good thing um so taking breath into the alchemical process of how fire works gives you the ability to see where the transformation can take place rather than just being stuck and when natural number six is swirl sometimes they swirl with this fear-based emotion and recently i had a conversation where i i pointed out to this a beautiful six that i know i said remember that before you make a big decision before you put all of your natural number six in the place of manifesting this thing why are you trying to make the decision is the decision based in your blueprint and your fear and are you not allowing the entities around you to have their own choices and their own blueprint and their own interconnections? And I don't even remember how I said it, but I, I think I did something like this person has their blueprint and this person has their blueprint and this person has their blueprint and you have your blueprint. And if you're making a decision to force the energy of interconnection with all those blueprints, then it's gonna backfire and it's not gonna end well. How about instead of thinking of it that way and worrying and being fear-based in what could happen in the future, breathe, take a couple good deep breaths in, activate your six and really sit with what is it that you're afraid of? And are you interfering? Are you accidentally, not on purpose, nobody wants to interfere on purpose not when they're conscious and they're aware and they're connected to their energies and their body and their gifts and their blueprint. But we accidentally do it all the time. I have totally accidentally done that. So I try really hard when I was talking to my friend, I said, you know, really think about where is the intersection and the choice that you are attempting to make, this big decision that you are thinking you're gonna have to put a lot of energy into is that energy taking you away from where you should be looking and or is the choice the decision of going in this going to interfere with other people's free choice and heka the god of no origin is the alchemical ability to give power of manifestation so when you're taking a lot of energy and you're trying to manifest something Dragonfly is our warning. Dragonfly is our warning to stop, take a breath, really center, really look at a situation from all the angles, make sure you're not interfering with someone's free choice, making sure you're not influencing somebody out of fear, your shame, or your disappointment. Be very intentional and aware of how and why you're making those decisions. So there's a, there's an amazing flow with body of nine that um, we as practitioners use all the time. And if you're ever interested in that, we are working on a video series so that you can learn about that in the future. But um, so today's daily devotional is um, a powerful set of cards that can help you say, hey, I have decisions to make breathe into it, allow dragonfly to breathe into it. Know that Heka is a really good manifester, the alchemical change of take, taking something that's negative, turning it into positive, or taking a situation and helping manifest that completely. And fire is an amazing element that can push us forward, but we have to be aware of our true emotions. If you're circling in shame, disappointment, or fear, it's gonna go sideways. You have to really be in that breath of neutral, being able to see what's really there. So that's today's daily devotional. 
Um, I hope you all have a beautiful day and I will see you in prayer. Blessed be.